the cycle of RDU. I don't understand the meta game. I think I understand the meta game. I understand the meta game. I'm not sure if I understand it anymore. I don't understand it. New patch. That's not always correct. For example, for the two months of spells, I was having a blast every single day. Oh, good. All eight guests I still arrived. don't really think the current meta of spells plus quest is bad, but it's definitely worse than uh, pure spells. Pure spells was so much fun to play. Are what overlay program do I use? Firestone. I'm uh, using Firestone. Perhaps a change is in order. It's not the strongest. Oh, sure terrible start. Yes. Hashtag ad. I mean, I haven't said download Forest now with my link in the description to get the absolute uh, best uh, tracker and companion in the universe. Comes with the session recap percentages, displays the available tribes or the available bands, depending yes. on what you want, and then even puts the minions on categories from the stars to the effects to the tribes and has post-game simulations to improve your gameplay and understand flaws in your gameplay. <laughs> Saul Fernando, thank you for the sub. Stay silent. I will <laughs> not hear your lies. Can we have predictions? Please ask the moderators. I'm on minus points. I want to focus fully on the gameplay. Another one bites the arcane dust. Oh, I have been looking for that yes. everywhere. Lidros, thank Splendid. you for the 22 months. Just what you needed. What if I want to use Firestone for free? What does it offer? Pretty much everything other than the stats. Like, very few things are paywalled in Firestone because it also runs on ads. So you get most of um, the tools, but Your also with ads. If you want to remove the ads and support the development of the app, you can uh, get Firestone Premium. But ch check it out for free first and then see what you think about it. Why is it always Obsidian? I feel like Secret Culprit used to be one of the best quests in the game. Now it shows up with garbage. Do I have a way to buff it? Maybe. Maybe I do have a way to buff it. Demons or dragons? Pick Conch on Jandis. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm so used to like instantly dismiss the Conch. I didn't realize it's actually broken on Jandis. Okay, I'm stupid. This is why I'm not hiring I've anymore. I've been looking for that one everywhere. I'm stupid. Sometimes. I want to find another battle cry. Uh, Dev Rattle, I meant. Sorry. What's the requirement? Four <laughs> death rattles need to die. Then you get conch. And yeah, conch on Janice is kind of busted. You can trigger the guy. Start of next turn too. Why is this busted? You can switch your biggest minion and then keep buying it and you get tons of stats. If I lose this fight, I'm not sure if, I, if I'm willing to go to four. I'll think about it. Regroup and show them your true potential. This quest is like almond milk, really good in certain situations. Guys, can we stop drawing comparisons to nut juices? Thank you.
Fork next turn, you need Feldrake ASAP. Calm down, cowboy. If I level now to four, and then Shadow Walk just destroys me, it wouldn't be so pleasant. Yeah, I'm not leveling now. Is that your new plus one? Oh. Leaving already? What a shame. Okay. Next turn, I will uh, buy Disciple again. Make a six. This board is wacky. Are you prepared for the trials ahead? <sighs> what are your thoughts on coconut milk, aka coconut water with added sugar? I don't have any particular thoughts on it. How good is Nala in a spot like this? I don't know if she good, but she not bad. Isn't Felemental mandatory here? Why? I mean, it's okay, but... Mandatory is... A bit much. I need Peckish. Until I get Peckish, I'm gonna rotate the Gobbler for 30-30 per turn. But... I, I don't know. I guess Felemental is a little bit of buffing towards my board. <laughs> Marvelous performance. belongs to you what a majestic creature now this likes to party. new recruits have arrived how delightful new recruits have arrived how delightful Am I supposed to just go big divine shields and that's it? And not really care much? What about fluidity? I have already have Jandis here apart, I don't think I need fluidity. Cut some minions. What a majestic creature. 
It's just a little sand in your eyes. Does this mean you're not in? New recruits have arrived. How delightful! I'm not sure this is the best way to play. Maybe you should just level and revise Sindo. Pekish could help me have a minute that I'm happy to switch. <laughs> Marvelous performance. Fifty fifty per turn is kind of weak. <laughs> no, he's not weak, he's not weak, but I wanna win the lobby. And I don't know if I'm doing the best place towards that. I need some more big minions, right? Another one fights the arcane dust. Oh my god. What the fuck? I wanna triple the um, the faceless. Oh but if you triple it you cannot um rotate it anymore. Eh, it's fine. Mutano's spell on six is pretty legit. We just need to land the buff on the bronze or on the Phaerix and then we're good. I'm still doing fine against most people. By the way, I cannot believe I didn't see Jan this conch when I was offered the quest selection. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe we just win anyways. Don't you need a demon for the cultist? It's not really something I'm concerning myself with right now. <laughs> and yes, Conch is broken on Jandis. All you need is Divine Shields and go for big stats. And then you're gonna get incrementally bigger every single turn without doing much. First spot belongs to you. Is in order. Hmm. Yes. Matt Rock. Yes. Thank you for the sub six months in advance. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Ooh la la. That's a big Sindori. Yeah, I want some tech cards. Take cards are always good. What you 
Just buying this as a stat boost. Oh. What a board. What a board. First spot belongs to you. Belongs to you. I want to level to six for potential queen. Insane. I had to figure out the best way to play on the cleave. Probably like this. You this was the weakest lobby since Battlegrounds was in beta. I mean, I have 150 on like multiple minions. The person said gift it randomly. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't see that. <laughs> sorry, you'll have to be sub to me now. I know, it sucks. I appreciate the generosity. Next time, if you want to give sub to be gifted randomly, please mention it as soon as you redeem it. Because then if I start gifting it, um, I don't really read the chat while I give the sub. Because I get like a pop-up that blocks me from reading the chat. It was literally 20 lines underneath. Again, nothing against the person. I'm just like mentioning how it looks for me on my end. I, I, I don't see their message immediately. But please don't, he did me. Thank you. What you want? What I could do, and what I think I should do, is make a channel point redemption for the same price that is just called gift the sub randomly to Chad. And then people that want to do that, they can just redeem that. I'll do it after this game so that I don't forget about it. Being first means the others might start copying your moves. You should gift another one to compensate. If you want, you can gift another one to compensate. If you're feeling generous. By the way, last time people complained so much about the gifted sub, I raised the prices of the subs. I'm not saying I'll do that again, but... Yeah, I cannot believe I would have lost this game if I wouldn't uh, read chat, though. Maybe I'm washed up in this meta. I don't see the conch instantly. Quests always get to me. Like, in the beginning, I do well, and then as soon as the patch goes deeper, I start doing poorly. I don't know why that is the case. Maybe I figured out the early strategies, but I'm not able at adapting as well. Other people maybe adapt, and then I don't manage to do some next-level plays. 